Hello friends, this video on electrochemistry part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we'll take some numerical. The question says the resistance of a conductivity cell, this is my conductivity cell, filled with 0.1 mole KCl is 100 ohms. If the resistance of same cell filled with 0.02 mKCl is 520 ohms, that is, let's suppose this is 0.1 m kcl and this is 0 0.02 m kcl right so this is my 100 ohms and this is my 520 ohms this is what given right 0 0.1 m kcl 100 ohms 0 0.1 m kcl 100 ohm 0 0.02 kcl 520 ohms calculate the conductivity and the molar conductivity of this Solution that we have to find conductivity and molar conductivity of this solution. The conductivity of this solution, the 0.1 m solution, is given to be 1.29. The conductivity is given is to be 1.29 Siemens per meter. Please note the unit. This is Siemens per meter. So one thing to note is since they are the two same, they are two same conductivity cell. One thing that will be common in both will be cell constant. It will be same for both this constant same, uh, cell that is nothing but L by A. That will be same for both this cell. So if you can find cell constant for this cell using these values, the same cell constant I can use in this cell and can find other values. Correct. So I know that uh, conductivity is nothing but rho L by A. Sorry, resistance is nothing but rho L by A. Correct? It's nothing but 1 by conductivity L by A. And that is nothing but 1 by conductivity G star because G star is nothing but L by A, cell constant. Correct? So I know this relation, these, these all are same actually, right? Or I can also say rho into G star. This is one formula. So in this case, my resistance is given 100 ohms, this is given and this is what conductivity, right? This is K. So K is given, so that means this formula is of no use to me, this formula is of no use to me, right? Because it's a resistivity. Conductivity is given in these two formulas and I have to find the cell constant G star. So let me use this formula. That is R is equal to 1 by k into g star. So let me put the values. Resistivity is 100 ohms is equal to 1 by k. k is given as k, sorry, this k. Because I have to find resist conductivity. I have to find conductivity. 1 by k and k is given here 1.29 s per meter correct and this is going to into g star so you solve this you get g star as nothing but 100 ohms into 1.29 siemens per meter right meter small m siemens into ohms is one because i know that siemens is nothing but per ohms so when you solve this you get 129 per meter that is my value of cell constant 129 per meter but they are not asking for this what they are asking they are asking now for this solution this second solution second uh, conductivity cell i have to find the value of this uh, conductivity and lambda so i can use the same formula R is equal to 1 by K into G star, right? For this is cell 2 and this was verse for cell 1. Assuming this is my cell 1 and this is my cell 2. So for cell 2, same thing. For cell 2, resistance is given 520 ohms is equal to 1 by K. I don't know. The G star is something I know 129 per meter. 
So you solve this, you get K as nothing but 129 per meter by 520 ohms. You solve this, you get 0.248. 1 by ohm is nothing but Siemens and per meter is there. So this is my conductivity. Pretty easy. The next thing is I have to find the molar conductivity of this cell. So I know my molar conductivity is nothing but K by C that is conductivity by concentration. Right. So here what is my conductivity? Conductivity is 0.248 Siemens per meter. So since, since it is in Siemens per meter, I have to find the write the concentration in moles per meter cube. Please note, I have to write in moles per meter cube. But I know the concentration in moles per liter. Correct. So I know that the concentration is 0 0.02 moles per liter. And that is nothing but 1000 into 0 0.02 moles per meter cube. Why? Because 1 liter is nothing but if you see 0 0.1 meter cube. See, 1 liter is nothing but 10 centimeter cube or 0 0.1 meter cube. So if you see 0 0.1 meter cube, see 1 liter is nothing but 10 centimeter cube and 10 centimeter is nothing but 0 0.1 meter and there is nothing but 0 0.0001 meter cube right so liter can I can replace the one liter with 0 0.001 meter cube so you replace liter with 0 0.001 meter cube that is nothing but you multiply because liter is in a denominator it means you multiply the whole thing with 1000 correct see if you are confused I can show you here so this is clear right point uh, 1 liter is nothing but point uh, zero zero 0.001 meter cube right so I can write this C as let me write somewhere here point 0.2 moles instead of per liter I'll write point zero 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 0.0001 meter cube and that is nothing but if you solve this there's nothing but you have to take this up this is nothing but 1000 into 0.2 moles per meter cube. Correct? And that's what we have done. 1000 into 0.02 actually, it's 0 0.02. So we saw that this is nothing but 20 moles. 0 0.0 into, into 1000 is nothing but 20 moles per meter cube. So this becomes 20 moles per I hope you understand. See, just if you have to write in meter, just say one liter is nothing but 0 0.1 meter cube. That is 0 0.001. That's all, and everything will be taken care. Sorry, there will be two zero. Yeah, 0 0.1 cube is point. This is two zero. Yeah, 0 0.1 cube is nothing but 0 0.201. Yeah. So you solve this, you get 124 into 10 to the power minus 4 Siemens meter square per mole. Right? Because this meter per meter and meter cube, one of the meter will get cancelled, and you get this as the answer of molar conductivity. If you want you can find the same solution in uh, centimeter also here so in that case what you'll get is 124 Siemens centimeter square per meter. you can actually directly convert here see one meter is something but 10 centimeter right it's 100 centimeter so you say this one meter you replace one meter square with 100 centimeter square correct so just replace that so you see that you have to multiply this with 
100 centimeter square 100 square that is 10 to the power 4 so 10 to the power 4 into 10 to the power minus 4 you get 1 you can directly do the calculation it's a, it's a simple math actually the next question is the electrical resistance of a column of 0 0.05 mole per liter NMH solution of diameter 1 cm and length 50 cm is this value. This is the resistance. We have to find the resistivity, conductivity and molar conductivity. So this is my uh, solution and this column this is 0 0.05 mole per liter. This is my 0 0.05 moles per litre in OH. Diameter is 0.5, point, uh, diameter is 1 centimetre. That means area if I want to find, area is what? Pi r square, r becomes 1 by 2 centimetre square. This becomes my area. Length is what given 50 centimeter. Please note everything is in centimeter from here. And resistance is given 5.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 ohms. So resistance is 5.5 in 5 into 10 to the power 3 ohms. And uh, we have to find resistivity that is rho. We have to find resistivity, conductivity that is k, and molar conductivity that is lambda. Correct. The formula you know, we know is resistance is rho L by A. Resistance is given. Rho is conduct resistivity we define. Length is given. A is given. Let's put all the values. R is nothing but pi 0.55 into 10 to the power 3 ohms is equal to resistivity into length is 50 centimeter by area that is pi into 0.5 square pi is I can write 3.14 so you saw this equation you get resistivity as 87.187 resistivity is 87.135 ohm centimeter because there is an ohm here and this is centimeter square, it's cancelled. So you'll get ohm centimeter. This is the resistivity. If you want to find conductivity, this one this was resistivity. Conductivity is kappa is nothing but 1 by rho. Right? So this becomes 1 by rho and rho is we have calculated 87.135 ohm centimeter and this comes out to be 0 0.00148 1 by ohm becomes Siemens centimeter, centimeter becomes per centimeter. This is my conductivity also I have found. Right? I found conductivity, I found resistivity. Now I have to find molar conductivity that is nothing but k by c so what is the value of k 0.0114a siemens per centimeter right now i have to find c the concentration i have to find in now moles per centimeter cube now what i know is moles per liter correct so let me first find that so concentration I know is 0 0.05 moles per liter. So one liter is nothing but 10 centimeter cube. Correct. This is nothing but 0 0.05 by 1000 mole per centimeter. So let's put the values here. 0 0.05 by 1000 mole per centimeter. So if we solve this, you get 12 to 9.6 Siemens, and this becomes uh, 
centimeter per centimeter centimeter cube one gets cancelled it becomes centimeter square per mole and that's my answer just take care of the units and you will easily get the answers thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get pre-study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again